Let's take a look at how we solve problem number 16 on the uh, week four practice problems, where we have a solution of sodium fluoride and we are trying to find its pH. Now, one of the things that we have to recognize with sodium fluoride is that it is a soluble salt and so it breaks down 100% in water. So, sodium fluoride it goes into water and we have just a single headed arrow because it goes completely to sodium ions and fluoride ions. So when we do this, we know we have a 0.22 molar solution of sodium fluoride. So what that really means is that in solution, we have 0.22 molar of sodium and 0.22 molar of our fluoride. We don't really care about the concentration of the sodium ion. It's a, it's a spectator, um, but we do care about that fluoride ion. And the reason we care about that fluoride ion is because it is the conjugate base of a weak acid. And because it's the conjugate base of a weak acid, that means that it has base properties and will itself be a weak base. And when weak bases are in water, they react with the water um, and behave as a base, taking an H away from water. So let's write out that hydrolysis reaction. So we have our F minus, it's going to react with our water, H2O, and because it's weak, it's going to form an equilibrium. It's going to pull an H off of water and form its parent acid, HF, and leave water with a missing H plus, leaving OH minus. Now, because this is in equilibrium, we can write an icebox for this reaction. So we know that we have 0 0.22 molar of our F minus. I have 0 HF and 0 OH minus to start with. Now, as the hydrolysis proceeds in the forward direction to reach equilibrium, I'm going to lose X amount of that F minus. I'm going to gain X amount of the HF, and I'm going to gain X amount of the OH minus. And so at equilibrium, we just add up the I and the C lines, and we're going to have 0.22 minus X for the fluoride. I'm going to have X for the HF and X for the OH minus. Now, uh, we were given in this problem uh, a value of Ka for... HF, and given its value of 3.5 times 10 to the minus 5. Now, that's the Ka for HF. However, we have written a Kb for its conjugate base, F minus, and so we have to find the value of the Kb of F minus. Now, because HF and F minus are a conjugate pair, that means that the Ka times the Kb for the conjugate pair is equal to Kw, which is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. So this means that the Kb for F minus is going to be equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 3.5 times 10 to the minus 5. And there we get a value of 2.86 times 10 to the minus 10 is the Kb for F minus. So what do we do with that Kb? Well, we can write an equilibrium constant expression now for our equilibrium reaction that we have for our ice box. And so we have that the Kb is going to equal to concentration of HF times concentration of OH minus over concentration of F minus. And we have those concentrations in terms of uh, a single unknown. And so we have uh, X for HF, X for OH minus, over 0.22 minus X for our H, or for our F minus. And so this becomes a little bit uh, complex problem. Let's put this equal to 2.86. That's a mess. 2.86 times 10 to the minus 10. Now, we can solve this 
using a quadratic because we're going to get an x squared term on the top. If we multiply by 0.22 minus x on both sides, we're going to get an x term in there as well. And we can do that if you have a good solver in your calculator. But one of the things we can do to simplify this is to notice that our value for our kb here is very tiny, 2.86 times 10 to the minus 10. And so that means that the reaction that we have in equilibrium shifts very little to the product side. And that means that our value of x is so small. And so we are going to bet that 0.22 minus x is pretty much the same thing as 0.22. So this allows us to rewrite this equation as x squared on the top over 0 0.22. And this becomes a much easier problem to solve than the quadratic. So when we solve that problem there, I'm just going to take all of that and come over here. So when we solve that, we get a value of x that's equal to 7.93 times 10 to the minus 6. Now we need to look back at our icebox to see what does x really equal. Well, as far as acid-base stuff is concerned, x is equal to concentration of OH minus. So from that, we can find a pOH. And so our pOH... going to be equal to negative log concentration of OH minus. So that's the negative log of 7.93 times 10 to the minus 6. And we get a value of 5.10. And then for the pH, that's going to be equal to 14 minus the pOH. And that becomes equal to 8.90. So hopefully all of that made sense. If you have any questions on any part of that calculation, please let me know.